First set four, it is launch day for Crew 10. We are just three hours away from the second attempt to take off from Kennedy Space Center. This is a live look at NASA's coverage as the astronauts make their way to the launch pad in those custom Teslas. You're watching News 6 at 4. I'm Lewis Bolden. Tonight's liftoff is set for 7.03. We have team coverage. Meteorologist Julie Broughton is taking a look at the forecast and wave heights. But first, let's get to our Space Coast reporter. News 6's James Barbiero. And James, a lot has already happened. Hey, Lewis. Yes, just here at NASA's press site. The convoy, the escort for the astronauts out to launch pad 39A, just drove by. I want to show you moments ago when the astronauts suited up and they walked out of their astronaut crew quarters a few miles from here. The astronauts you'll see in the middle, those are the Americans on this mission. That's Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers. And this crew of four is made up of also a Japanese astronaut. And the last crew member is from Russia. So Crew 10 will be NASA and SpaceX's 10th full-length operational mission to the International Space Station, a six-month science mission as they've been doing for five years now between NASA and SpaceX's partnership. Now the weather's about as good as it gets, just like it was 48 hours ago. But as you know, two days ago, the weather wasn't the problem. It came down to a technical issue. I want to show you more about that technical issue and how NASA says it was resolved. And we also hear more from Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. Their mission home really gets moving after Crew 10 launches. They're the astronauts of the troubled Boeing Starliner who've been stuck in space since last summer. This is what the transporter erector does. Six years ago, I had the opportunity to go to the launch pad and shoot this time lapse of a Falcon Heavy going vertical. The transporter erector, which I've also heard referred to as a gantry, raises SpaceX rockets into their launch position. And as the NASA broadcast paid particular attention to Wednesday, the clamp arms, and there you see them, uses these clamp arms to hold the rocket upright until hydraulics are used to retract them before liftoff. Given the hydraulics issue Wednesday, the question was, would the arms retract? SpaceX, uh, LD on countdown one. At this time, we are standing down from today to further address hydraulic release data. Yesterday, NASA said SpaceX inspected the hydraulic system and successfully flushed a suspected pocket of trapped air in the system. As for the two astronauts, this mission finally clears the path home for. Eating a lot of good food and uh, seeing a lot of great old friends. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams talked more this week about their unexpected long stay on the International Space Station, like what they're looking forward to when they return to Earth as soon as next week. You kind of miss like the smell of fresh cut grass and those type of things that just you kind of take for granted a little bit and you don't have that up here. Sonny also thanked everyone who helped her and Butch keep a good attitude. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Um, it's, been, it's just been like ridiculous to get all the, uh, the folks that have been wishing us good luck and, and all goodwill up here. Um, Butch and I in particular, because I think a lot of people know about our, our situation. And they've just been so resilient in that situation. Liftoff tonight is scheduled for 7.03. Lewis, there is a backup opportunity tomorrow, but let's hope it all goes well right now. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6. And James, I have to tell you, Butch and Sonny have had such a good attitude the entire time they've been up there. I haven't heard them say one negative thing. Complete professionals, Lewis admirable veteran astronauts always they've been focused on their tasks at hand ever since they've been in this situation going back to last summer it's all been outside their control but they've really contributed with what they could do while they've been on the space station they went up there not expecting to do that much in terms of science research maintenance because it was only supposed to be a mission of eight or ten days well now that it's been nine months they've contributed to spacewalks and so much else that NASA will tell you will help not just benefit those in space, but us here on Earth, too. Just incredible. James Sparvero reporting live. James, thank you.